Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute and I'm not gonna lie, it does feel a little weird. It does feel a little strange sitting down here with my setup and talking to you guys because it's just been a while. Ideally, I wanted to upload a vlog before this video so that I can just like sit down and talk to you guys and see where you guys are at and just let you know like where I've been mentally, emotionally, physically, just like everything, I wanted to sit down and really talk to you guys because I really just want to sit down and talk to you guys and not just like talk about products and just talk about where we're at in the world right now and where I'm at and I really just want to open up the comments to see where you guys are at and we could just help each other out in that video. But I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see first. I was gonna do my favorite cleaning products today but I am still gonna do that. But you guys wanted to see my current favorite beauty products slash lifestyle products. So I have a little bit of food, some makeup, hair products, body care products and some skincare and of course my songs at the end. I almost thought we were still in March but we're not, we're in April. And even though I've been home since I got back from the Dominican Republic, time is flying by for me and most days I'm not wearing makeup. Like I'm literally just home, organizing, cleaning, getting my apartment ready. It's like 99% done, I'm gonna do that apartment video. It's not like I didn't wanna film it on purpose, it's just I'm such a perfectionist. The Scorpio sun and Capricorn moon in me is just like, hold up, wait a minute. I just need one more little thing, but I promise that's coming up. So really, I've just been home organizing and not really doing much makeup. But when I did put on makeup, I realized that I was in such a better mood. I just felt like I could handle my day on a more positive note. And it's so much harder to have a meltdown or a breakdown when you don't want to ruin your makeup. So pro tip, do your makeup and I promise you, you're going to feel 100 times better. Even if it's just to stay at home or to go to Target, because that's pretty much like the only store open or the supermarkets, do your makeup. I'm telling you guys, it really changes your mood. And even if you're gonna stay in your sweatpants or your pajamas, put on a little concealer and I promise you, instant mood change. I'm gonna stop myself here because I can just talk for days and days. Because I haven't talked to you guys in a while, I feel that urge to talk to you. But today we're talking about products. So let's just jump right into it. So right before social distancing and this quarantine started, I had lash extensions. I was on vacation and so I had been getting lash extensions for a minute. Like I had taken a break and then I went right back into it and I was really trying to figure it out and then obviously that came to an end so I was able to remove the last three strands that I had on my eyes and I was left pretty bald lash extensions for me don't rip my eyelashes off like they don't completely fall off but they're definitely shorter when I remove my lash extensions it's almost as if they like break in half usually it takes 90 days for a lash cycle to complete so I like many others I'm on the struggle bus with my real lashes and on an everyday basis I could never put on these types of lashes they're just way too heavy for daily use so I had to go back to using mascara so many mascaras just don't do it for me I have naturally long eyelashes I like to grow them out with castor oil and Vaseline but obviously right now they're pretty short and most mascaras just make them look like a complete joke the only mascara that I've been able to find that actually makes a difference and makes them look decent is the Lancome Grandiose Extreme. So this mascara has this curved wand. It's not completely curved, it just has like a little bend, which makes it like the perfect angle to apply it. It is extremely black and I feel like this is the most volumizing, thickening mascara out there. Personally, I've tried so many. So I have like a pile of like unused new mascaras. And so I was trying some out and they just weren't doing the job. So I had to give this a shout out, especially for those who are on that struggle bus of missing their lash extensions and not being able to get them done obviously and you don't really want to do the false lashes thing this is an amazing thickening volumizing mascara so had to mention that first next I wanted to give a shout out to this NARS power chrome loose eye pigment in the shade slam so today I use the Ars Couture supreme nudes palette I have supreme and lavish the olive and the gold tone on my eyes and it was cute but I wanted to give it a little extra sparkle now usually with this product I wear it on its own but this on top of any other shadow just gives it that extra sparkle that I'm here for, I live for. So I just feel like this is such a versatile product. You can literally use it on top of any other shadow or on its own with your finger, with a brush. If you want to sheer it out, you can if you just want a little bit of sparkle or you can really pack it on. So it is a loose pigment, but I feel like it's not as loose as like 
like the Artist Couture Glitter Toppers. That is more of like a fine glitter. Even though it's gonna be an opaque glitter, this is just a little bit more of like a shadow. So it's more of like a pressed loose pigment. Does that make sense? It makes it look cleaner in some way and it just makes it look more cohesive, which I love. And then I wanted to mention this blush because I did haul it and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because it seemed very, very, very sheer. But it's the perfect amount of sheer. So this is the Dior blush, the Backstage Rosy Glow in Coral. Super cute packaging, but extremely tiny compared to other blushes that I have. But this really just gives you the perfect amount of blush on your cheeks. And you guys know I love a peachy tone. So this color is perfect for my skin tone. So when you swatch it, it looks like an absolute joke. Like you can barely see it. So naturally my cheeks, when they get flushed, they're more on the pink side. But this makes it look like that natural flush, but with a peach undertone, a coral undertone, which I personally like. The swatch is ridiculous, but I really didn't even put a lot on my cheeks today. And I feel like in person, I do have that like blushed peachy look. And I have been loving this brush to apply blush and bronzer. This is the Refer brush number five. I first used it with my MAC MSF and then I just flipped it over and dipped into the blush and used the butt of the brush to apply it. And I just love these Refer brushes. They're the most multi-purpose brushes in my whole collection. They're high quality brushes that are extremely multifunctional, multi-purpose, which I love. I don't know if this is just me, but when I'm doing my makeup, I don't wanna like wait waste my brushes. I know that sounds weird, but if I only have one of that brush, I don't want to waste it because then I know I have to clean it and I'm just like scared of ruining it even though I'm not. But that's how I feel about these brushes. These are like my babies. I don't even want to touch them, but when I do, I know my makeup's gonna come a bomb. This is the Refer P23 and it is the tiniest pencil brush I've ever seen. Actually, I'm lying. I've seen tinier ones, but I never really use those because they just are too tiny. It doesn't really have a purpose for me, but this is such a perfect little detail brush. Brush. So good for inner corners if you have smaller eyes or if you have like deep set eyes and you don't really have much space in the inner corner. This is the perfect little brush to get in there. You can honestly create anything with this because it's so tiny. I also love it for the brow bone and you can smudge things out with this. If you want to really get under the under eye with a darker shade or with any shade really, but you really want to get precision, this is it. P23. I honestly didn't think I was going to get a lot of use out of this, but I do. And then hands down my favorite, favorite brush from the whole line, Refer number two. I also love Refer number three, but number two has my heart. This is an amazing brush. I love it for contouring my nose. I don't have to use any other brush when I use this for contouring my nose, which is amazing because if you have ever seen me contour my nose, you know I go in with like eight brushes and 100 products, but this with the Dior contour palette, I just quickly do a nose contour. If I really wanna go in, I can snatch it up, but most days I just can't be bothered. Nose contouring is a whole art in itself. It takes a lot of steps for me personally, but this brush makes my life so much easier and I also love it for under the eye. These brushes have the perfect amount of softness, but not too soft where it's not doing anything. They're weightless, but still feel expensive. The like matte handle, just everything about them, the design, they just have so many different uses, which I love for a brush. You can use this to pack on the lid for defining a crease. I love brushes like that because personally, I hate washing brushes and I don't use dirty brushes, so I wash my brushes every single time I use them. So if I could have one brush and I can get different uses out of it, better for me because then I don't have to wash as many, but I just love, love, love this brush. So I had to talk about the Refer brushes because I noticed that I actually didn't talk about them on my YouTube channel, but I did mention them on Instagram. Definitely loving those. Next up is a concealer, and this is from the brand Cosas. I'm a neutral gal, but this packaging really, really makes me happy. The yellow is just like the perfect shade of yellow. I know that sounds weird, but packaging is high key for me. I feel like if it looks pretty, I'm more inclined to using it. This is the Revealer Concealer, Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. So not only is the cap the cutest yellow shade that you've ever seen in your life, the concealer actually has a yellow undertone. So a few of the shades that I have all have this yellow undertone. Obviously, I don't have the whole collection, so there might be some pinky ones, but 3.5 is like the perfect shade and it is extremely brightening has the right amount of coverage without being thick if you like a thinner concealer I definitely would suggest this one it does have a lot of coverage though usually I have a full coverage foundation on like right now I have the makeup forever HD stick which has a lot of coverage so sometimes if I do a thick concealer with a thick foundation it's just way too much so I love that it's 
thin. So this concealer actually has like skincare built in. So it's like a concealer and eye cream in one, which is why it's so breathable, lightweight, but still has great coverage. It's vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and it has caffeine, peptides, and arnica. So while you're concealing and covering, you're also helping your skin. That's a win-win in my books. So before I get into the other products, I wanted to mention these so I could put them back in my freezer. These are so delicious. So I'm pescatarian. I do not consume meat. I do eat seafood, but I try not to. So I don't like to eat like vegan processed food often I don't do it daily but ever so often I you know want to eat something at home I don't want to spend $20 on uber eats and I just want to make myself something to eat and I want it quick and the morning star or just like vegan frozen foods in general are so good and so I was eating the chicken tender ones or fake chicken obviously I was eating those for a while but then I just started like not liking them they just became too soft and I just didn't really like the texture until I found these these are the morning star popcorn chicken chicken and let me just tell you you have to try these even if you're not vegan even if you're not vegetarian or pescatarian and you consume meat these are so yummy they have like a little kick to them like a little not a spice but just like some flavor to them and the fact that they're so small helps them stay crispy so I just pop these in the toaster oven with some sweet potato fries or regular fries and there's my lunch with some barbecue and some ketchup and these are just like the perfect size because they don't get soggy or mushy I cannot stand mushy food I like very simple food. I almost like my food more on the dry side So if something is like mushy or soggy on the inside, I just can't do it These have 36% less sodium and 11 grams of plant-based protein in a serving And I highly suggest these over the big chicken tenders because again those just get real weird to me like the consistency They get a little chewy. I'll still eat them here and there, but if I ever see these at Target I'm stocking up. You can even add a little lemon on them. I've done that and it's just delicioso. This is where it's at. And then let me just mention this other food item while we're here. So I personally am not a huge snacker, but let's be honest, this quarantine and chill has converted us all to snackers. And so when I want something chocolatey, because I'm more of like a chocolate girl, I love m and peanuts, but obviously those are not the best for me, whatever. So when I want something that's chocolatey, but I know I'm not gonna feel super guilty if I eat a few, it's these. It's the Bark Thins Snacking Chocolate Dark Chocolate Almond with Sea Salt. One or two small pieces satisfies my craving because it is dark chocolate. I love that it has a little bit of that almond, so it gives you a little crunch. Non-GMO, it only has a few ingredients. And it's so good. Mm. It's definitely not a super bitter dark chocolate, which I like. It's like right in the middle. Just one piece and I feel, not full, but I feel satisfied. Like I don't feel like I have to eat more of them. They do have other flavors. They have pretzel, coconut, pumpkin seed, mint. But my favorite one is the almond with sea salt. And normally I don't like chocolate with sea salt, but this has like the perfect amount of sea salt. So good. So back to the products, I wanted to shout out one skincare item. I've been really lazy when it comes to my skincare, which I have no excuse. We are home, we got all the time in the world, but I think honestly I'm a little bit traumatized because it seems like everything I put on my face irritates me. I've become overly sensitized. My skin is just extremely sensitive right now. I just don't know why, like what happened, but I did find something that doesn't break me out or irritate me, so I feel comfortable recommending it to you. So this is the Wishful Enzyme Scrub, the Yoglo. It's a pineapple and papaya enzyme AHA BHA exfoliator. So it's one of those products that you apply to your face and you rub it in and like the dead skin falls off. A lot of people think they're gimmicky and they say that it's just a product rolling off. And to be honest, I thought the same thing with other products like this. Normally anything Huda is just like overly fragranced, but this one thankfully is not. I was a little scared with the pineapple and the papaya, not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna smell a little rancid, but it doesn't. And it's gentle enough that it doesn't irritate me or leave me red or raw or like peeling or anything weird like that, but it's so effective. Every time I use this, I'm like, okay, there she is, that's my skin. It's like a whole fresh new layer of skin. So I'll use this like once, twice a week, and it feels like I have a full bottle. You don't need a lot of this. It really does slough off that 
that dead skin that's just like sitting on top of your skin. This is like the perfect restart. It's like a refresh product and it's amazing before makeup because you're literally going to be left with like a blank canvas of skin and it just feels a lot softer with less texture. So love, love, love. Highly recommend that. So I recently decluttered my perfume collection. I wanted to downsize because I changed the way that I'm kind of like storing them and so I'm really trying to just work through the ones that are already running low before touching like the newer bottles. So I really have been enjoying this one and I've been using it up. This is the Lancome Idol Perfume. Idol, Idol. Anytime I pronounce any Lancome perfume, y'all come for me. Idol, Idol. I don't know, whatever. So if you recently purchased anything from my Poshmark accounts, this is the scent that was in the box. Just one spray is all I did in the box. And I got so many questions on what scent it was. So it's Lancome Idol. So it's definitely a floral scent. It has a little bit of rose to it, but it's heavy on the jasmine, which makes it so unique and so different from any of my other perfumes. One spray of this in your living room and your whole house smells like spring. It's so yummy and so delicious. These next two products are from Briogeo. Briogeo. So these are the Be Well Essential Oils in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, who you guys know I love. I have been using these daily before bed and I am so addicted to that routine. I love putting these on my wrist and like right behind my ears right before going to sleep because it really does calm me down. So this one is lavender and chill and this one is rose and reset and it honestly feels like I'm putting on like a light perfume but without it being too strong for bed. The lavender just smells so calming and so relaxing and it really just puts me in a like zen mood. The rose one has like a hint of citrus. These made it to my nightstand right away and I've been so obsessed with just putting those on right before bed. This OGX Hugs Ultra Hydrating Shampoo smells so good. Really what sells me in a shampoo is that it doesn't dry out my scalp and that it smells amazing. My hair is pretty smooth on its own, so I really just need something that's going to make it smell amazing and this smells amazing. It has pineapple, coconuts, and cotton candy and it's an ultra hydrating shampoo, so it's been helping with my dry scalp. I'm technically not supposed to be using OGX because I'm pretty sure this is not keratin approved, but listen, it smells delicious and I've been rocking with that and this Ion Intense Moisture Conditioner has to be my favorite conditioner period besides any deep conditioner just like as a regular conditioner this is amazing this is like the only conditioner that actually brings out the natural pattern of my hair so when I use this and I get out the shower my hair air dries it has a bit of a wave at the ends and no other conditioner will ever do that this really truly nourishes my hair so I feel like that's why I get that little wave so it's like a wave without it being frizzy and it is just so yummy it smells so so good and it truly makes my hair softer than any other conditioner. I still love deep conditioners. I still go in with my macadamia and I still go in with Kerastase and like other deep conditioners. But if I am gonna use a regular conditioner, it's this one. I get it at Sally Beauty. It's 100% vegan and paraben free. And again, it smells so, so good. And it makes my hair incredibly soft. And speaking of smelling amazing, this OGX Dry Oil Shine Mist. It's from the Argan Oil of Morocco line. It has that like argan oil scent with like coconuts. I love that this is a shine mist and it's not like an oil or it's not like just like a regular spray. It's literally like a mist. It almost comes out like a hairspray, but it actually leaves your hair shiny. I barely use shine products because my hair is long and it will get weighed down very quickly and very oily very quickly. So I love that it's lightweight and it just smells in. Incredible. And I use this on a straight hair, curled hair, right at the shower, on dry hair, damp hair, and I really, really love how it smells. This has to be one of my favorite wallflowers for Bath and Body Works. So somehow I lost the tag, but it's the scent Freesia Garden. And so a lovely supporter from Bath and Body Works Queen Center Mall, shout out to you girl, you know who you are, put me onto this. I was there, you know, just smelling around, trying to grab some wallflowers, and I'm like, which one really smells like the strongest without it being too overpowering? And she put me onto this. She said it was one her favorites. So it says Blooming Freesia Rosewater Bright Leafy Greens with Essential Oils. And this smells like a spring garden. It smells like perfume and she knew what she was talking about. I mean she works there so she's smelled a ton and has tried a ton. So I trusted her and she did not disappoint. This one bomb. It actually has like mixed reviews. Some people say they didn't smell it at all but I don't know. Maybe they're actual 
wallflower apparatus wasn't working because this smells pretty strong in my apartment. This one and any rose scented one are my favorites from Bath and Body Works, like the rose water and ivy. And speaking of rose, this is my favorite scent for doing dishes. This is from Caldrea. It's the rose water driftwood dish soap. So I've spoken about this scent for the room spray. Obsessed with that. I'm always using it. I'm always running through it. It's rose done right. It's like a fresh, soft rose scent. This actually makes me want to wash dishes. Now, I have a whole dishwasher, but I don't use it. I actually like manually washing my dishes. I know, insane. But this makes me want to wash my dishes because of the scent. And it actually obviously works. It cleans my dishes. But I love the scent on this. Like, it leaves the scent lingering in the whole kitchen and on my hands, which I like. It's a light floral with a little bit of musk. So if you want to feel bougie washing your dishes, try this out. The whole line, get the room spray and get the dish soap. I get this from Grove. It's an app. I'll leave my link down below. If you've never shopped there before and you sign up with my link, you get like five free products. Just make sure that you turn off any subscriptions so you're not like being charged. I personally just buy what I need and then turn off all subscriptions and then I'll buy whatever I need when that time comes. So I don't really use it like a subscription app, but I do love this line that they sell, Caldrea. It says it's safe for you, your home, and the earth. I mean, does it get any better than that. So good. So let's jump into my current favorite songs. Not all of these are new, they're just my current favorite songs that I have on repeat. enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!